thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go. Report number 58768, Class Alpha. Submitted by witness on Thursday, December 28, 2017. Late night sightings by resident near two homes in the Macedonia area. Year 2017. Season, summer. Date, summer. State, Arkansas. County, Conway County. Location details right beside my house. I would say it had to have been running from across the road. It was just mouth dropping fast with no sound as it went by me and by the time I got light to look down a clear field area it was gone. Nearest town Hattieville. Nearest road 213 Old Hickory Road. Observed. My name is T.W. and I live in Arkansas. Before this happened I have never had anything ever happen to me. This happened in September 2017 at about 11 p.m. I am a night owl in the summer because it's too hot during the day to do a lot. I had just came from inside my house and walked down the steps. My truck was parked to my right and I was going to the storage room. As I turned a little to go around the front of my truck, something caught my eye side vision that made me turn my head. As I was turning my head this big human like figure was sprinting so fast it was like two seconds and it was gone. It had a dark undercoat and light colored on top hair. I have never in my life seen anything run so fast and what got me was it did not make a sound running past me. It was about 25 to 30 feet away in open area. If I had not caught the glimpse of it, I would have never even known he went by me. I can see why they can be around and even around a person and not even know it. Also noticed, I was checking on my stepdad that lives across the road from me, as I always do. Just as I walked up on his porch, I heard a noise at the other end as my flashlight was going up to that area. I saw this dark figure move, and this time I did hear it running. I only saw a dark brown figure move. Other witnesses, just myself, I was in disbelief what I had seen, but did tell my son and stepdad. Other stories... People think you're crazy. No one talks about stuff like that. This is only the third time I've told anyone. I've only told my son and my stepdad. There's been my dog and my stepdad's dog and neighbor's dogs that came up missing all within a, a period of a month. And they were very big dogs at that. My sister's 400 pound pig found it dead with big slashes all over it. This was all in a 10 year period. I'm sure if a person wouldn't be committed to the loony bin, more would talk. Time and conditions, night, but lighted very well from carport where my truck was. I saw it about two seconds beyond fast. It was a little humid. Environment, all forest around me, waterfall and deep forest areas. I have a barn about a hundred yards from the house. It was running in a straight path so it would have been to left of the barn. Follow up investigation report by BFRO investigator Tal H. Branco. I discussed the report with this witness on four occasions by telephone for several hours. As a result, it was apparent that his brief submission did not adequately address the situation or issues involved in this case. The following details and clarifications should be noted. 
The animal that he first saw about 11 p.m. in September of 2017 was running and passed within 30 feet of him. Both he and the animal were on a mowed section of the yard. The area was illuminated by floodlights on the parking garage and storage room section of the home. The animal was seen clearly for only about two seconds as it was running at an unbelievable speed. It ran nearly fully erect, taking very long strides, and its gait was smooth and appeared effortless. It was described as being seven to eight feet tall with massive shoulders, large torso, and with a head that was something coned shaped at the top. T.W. said that as it ran, it was swinging its arms alternately in wide arcs. The witness noted that the figure's arms were noticeably longer in relation to its body than those of a human's. T.W. also stated that in the beams of the floodlights he could see that the hair closest to the animal's body was about two inches long and dark colored, but the outer coat of hair was lighter colored. He also noted the hair on its head and side of the face was thinner than that on the body. The animal never turned its face toward him, so he did not see facial features or reflections from its eyes. As soon as the figure entered the darkness behind the home, T.W. tried to run after it with his flashlight, but neither saw nor heard the figure. When asked, T.W. estimated the animal's weight to be around 400 pounds. After doing so, he again reiterated his amazement about the fact that an animal that large could run by him at such close range and he could not hear the footfalls. He said the animal never made a vocal sound that he could hear even after it disappeared from his sight. T.W. mentioned that he routinely walked across the road to his stepfather's house at night to check on him. On one occasion, as he walked past one back corner of the house, he heard a noise near the opposite corner. Before he could bring his flashlight up, he saw a dark brown figure running quickly and noisily into the nearby woods. He said there was no outside lighting that was turned on, so he could not provide any other description of the figure. In one section of his report, he very briefly mentioned the disappearance of dogs and the mutilation of a hog in the area. When asked about the hog incident, he said that about 10 years ago, his sister, who lives in the area, obtained and reared a hog as a pet. The hog was kept in an outside pen from which it escaped at will, but never strayed from the immediate vicinity of the house or the outbuilding in which its primary food was kept. Table scraps were also routinely placed in the feed container inside the hog pen. Over time, the hog attained a reported weight of about 400 pounds. One morning, the hog could not be seen in the only areas it usually traveled. During a quick search of the property, the hog was found dead and mutilated about 40 yards from its pen. The location of the hog was in a straight line from the pen toward a heavily forested mountain area containing deep ravines and waterfalls. The hog's body showed deep slashes all over it. T.W. described the slashes as being at least one half inch wide and at least one half inch, inch deep gouges. In addition, it was noted that the hog's neck appeared to have been twisted to one side and one front leg was broken with the upper bone of that leg displaced at the shoulder joint. From the time of the hog's death to the time of, it, of this witness's sightings of the dark bipedal animals in 2017, he stated that at least five large dogs mysteriously disappeared from the general area. His German Shepherd, 
his stepfather's German Shepherd, a relative's Rottweiler, and two other large dogs belonging to area residents, disappeared at various intervals during that period. All the dogs were reported to be very protective of their respective owners, their families, and their home sites. As he wrote in his report prior to his close encounter with the big human-like figure, he was a total skeptic about such an animal's existence. He stated his submission was primarily to alert others that such animals do in fact exist and stated that he now understands how the animals are able to evade humans. The person submitting the initial report, TK, is an unusually well-trained observer and a credible witness. This witness served 10 years in the U.S. Marines and was directly involved in the Desert Shield and Desert Storm operations. He later served as a deputy sheriff in both Arkansas and Mississippi and received extensive training and certifications in many aspects of law enforcement, including criminal investigations. After being told the extent and details of the events he briefly mentioned in his submission and after investigating numerous cases of the unusual disappearance, injuries or death of livestock and pets in the rural parts of the southwest for many years, this investigator is reasonably certain that the general area described in the report has had a population of enigmatic bipedal primates for at least several years. These animals forage for food near the homes in the area when natural food sources are scarce. If dogs of any size challenge them during these foraging forays and do not retreat when approached, the dogs may be injured or killed. When dogs are killed by the enigmatic primates, the bodies may be carried away and thrown in inaccessible locations. The hog, which was found dead and mutilated, as described, was not killed by any large predator known to exist in the area of the U.S. described in this report. 